We doing everything they talk about You know I'm everything a boss about Not putting work and gotta toss them out I'm really biting, they just barking out I'm really riding, they just parking out His street, what to talk about See the big H when I'm walking out Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Base Coverage presented to you by the one and only K Noah Team Wear. I'm your host, Jamal Clay. And today, you know what? Whenever I get to talk to a defensive back, I'm excited. I got a great appreciation. Obviously, DB to DB talk, me being a former one now, I'm officially team washed up. But this guy, uh, is, is, is a dude. This guy is a dog, and I appreciate it. I'm excited to talk to this guy. We're bringing in Goran Zek to come by and, and, and chop it up a little bit on base coverage, you know, about signing with the Surge and, you know, heading into next season and playing in the ELF. So I'm excited to have this guy on. Uh, before we dive into all that, of course, here's our quick word from our partners over at KNOA Teamwear. everyone again thank you guys for tuning in um again my guest today excited to have this guy on excited to talk to a, another defensive back uh this dude was one of the top defensive backs in the league last year two-time elf all-star um and he definitely made a name for himself in the years playing in the elf thus far so uh without any further hesitation Gorn, what's going on brother how you doing my man hey i'm, do I'm doing very well man thank you uh thank you for hearing me today in in your podcast and uh, that's it man how are you doing i'm good man appreciate you coming on you know talk to me a little bit how's uh how's the off season coming along we're getting closer to the season closer to you know i know mini camps and otas have started um i know i, I have a feeling you're getting the itch to, to get the stuttgart and get things rolling so uh, how's the off season coming for you i mean very, very well i'm i'm working hard like probably as everyone else you know like <laughs> Grinding whole off season like heavy weights, explosive explosiveness exercise, you know, like field exercise, a little bit just to move around and uh, see how 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 hips like how hips doing and that that's it, man. Like yeah, wait, waiting waiting for for like uh, going like to to Stutt Stuttgart in one month and then like start the thing. Yeah, definitely keep those hips loose. I mean, the hips, the yeah. hips on line. They say when we start. Yeah, dancing. keep on line, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, hey, before we dive into this, one thing that I, you know, I do want to give you your flowers and you know things that I appreciate about your game. Obviously, two seasons in the ELF last year, balled out. You know, eighty-one tackles, three and a half uh, sacks, eleven and a half TFLs, three forced fumbles, but six interceptions. My man. You know, one thing I like about your 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 style of play is that you know you you have that dog mentality. You have good ball skills. Um, you're a true tackler, but most importantly, you're not afraid to jump in the run game and go get busy with it. So I just want to give you your flowers and tell you that it is appreciated, especially as a former DB. Thank you, um, man. First two seasons in the league, play for the the Russell off Panthers, right? Um, yep. First season, obviously, they went to the playoffs. Second season, a little bit of a, of a disappointment. But now you're signing with the Stuttgart Surge, a new a new regime, so to say, a new management. Um, and you're you're joining a coaching staff that um, that you're familiar with. So talk a little bit about what talk a little bit about joining the Surge and uh, what you're looking forward to when uh, playing for the next season, this upcoming yeah. season. Like for first time when I got called from Cody, uh, I was like, okay. Uh, I played for those those coaches. I played with Cody. Uh, I played with some guys who signed with Serge, and uh, I have family there in Germany, like one hour from Stuttgart. And that was like my decision maker, you know, like to be be closer to family and people who I know who can like watch me every every weekend, like uh, in the stadium and play for them in front of them. And that was like my decision maker to sign with Serge just to be close with family and people I know and be around them and enjoy. Most definitely. And I think the one thing that you, you said that stuck out is that, you know, yeah, you're familiar with them, but it feels like family and you also yeah. have family out there. So, you know, that yeah. played, that played a big part. Um, heading into the third season, your third season in the ELF, obviously the league is growing, it's getting bigger. There's more excitement year in and year out. You know, for you, 
for someone who's been here since the beginning, what do you like about playing in, in the ELF? Uh, competition, most yeah. definitely. You know, like competition is on a high level. And then you can see like th there are like some, some receivers who played in NFL and then you line up against those receivers and play against them and see that you can play like those guys. Maybe not like 10 out of 10 plays, but five five plays out of 10. So that's good also. <laughs> yeah, you got you gotta win, you gotta win your battles. You definitely want a good amount of yours. Um the film obviously speaks for itself. Um playing your first two seasons in the league and heading into year three, obviously every offseason the mentality is all right, go in, get better, improve, you know, so on and so forth. What do you feel like you've learned about your game over the past two seasons that will help you going into year three? I I learned that like I mean I can I can line up against anybody. Yeah. Yes you like, can my yeah. man. Yes like, you can. I, I play anybody like on the field, like in run game, in pass game and uh I just I just enjoy every every time I'm on field, you know, like and that that's what like like I learned like from those two past years. Just more I enjoy enjoy like on the field. That's that's I'm better, you know. Like that's I feel better. Then then I move better and uh, everything everything that you know. Well, most definitely, and I feel like I feel like you've had you know you've had a. Uh... One of the privileges of being in the Brussels fans is having to be opposite of someone like uh, Darius Robinson, right? Someone who was considered is considered one of the top, uh, not only imports, but top cornerbacks in the league. Um, yeah. And a lot of teams may have thrown away from him. Unlucky to find out that they throw your way. You know, that, that's not that's not a direction they want to go as well either. Um, playing for the surge next season, more teams, obviously, is a new conference, right? Yep. Um, looking at your new conference, it's quite a – a good amount of like new teams and it's going to be some teams maybe you didn't play uh, against when you were on the Panthers. Um, when you're looking at your conference, uh, what are you looking forward? What, what new teams are you looking forward to playing uh, next season? Oh, mo most definitely is Paris in week two. Yeah. That's a showdown, my friend. That's going to be a showdown. That will be like really uh, excited game and the uh, challenge for everybody like, like in the in the league, probably you know, like really really good weapons in in offense with Zach Edwards on QB, and like really good receivers like Kyle Sweets, Adria Botello, you know some some other French guys on the on receivers that that will be like really good pass game probably, and that will be challenge like for any any DB in the league. Most definitely. And to cover those guys and read Zach. So we'll we'll see. And and he can run also. So Yeah. That's yeah. a that's a tricky thing about playing against, you know, now Les Magicians, as they say in as they say in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, he's a he's a dude, man. And you know, obviously his skill set is is uh is unique in terms of how he can create um yeah. and how he can improvise and still make plays. Uh, downfield, um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be it's, that's gonna be a game to watch. And you know, again, yeah. I think it's June tenth. You guys unfortunately got caught with the bye week, week one, bye but week one. it's heading into a beautiful showdown in Paris. Their home opener, your first game. You know, new regime in Stuttgart, new totally new team and most anticipated team that people have been waiting for in Paris. That is going to be a game to watch. And I'm definitely sure. getting excited about it. I'm really excited and can't wait. And their new stadium is going to be nice, and they might get they might get a good good show out. So I think it's going to be yeah. I think it's going to be a good I think it's going to be a, a a good game in all aspects of it, from a matchup standpoint, a coaching standpoint, the quarterbacks, the defenses. Sure. I think it's definitely going to be a good game to watch. Yeah. Um, you said you you mentioned earlier that one of the reasons you signed with Sugar was the familiarity, and one of the guys you played with was Cody. Who is now yep. the, uh, the defensive backs coach for, for the Surge? Yep. Uh, formerly played for the Swabish Hall uh, Unicorns. Um, without giving obviously scheme or too much away, but have you talked with uh, Coach Brenner and and Cody about you know how they plan to use you 
in the defensive scheme and you know what excites you about playing in uh in the in the scheme for the for the surge like for, first of all uh i don't know that that much you know we talk it but like they they are going to use me on safety but that that doesn't mean anything you know <laughs> you, you can be everywhere like on on safety position but uh like i know my coaches and cody like first of all i need to show up there and show up like what what, what i got and like earn my spot there and then we will see like like what what's what's going to be my role there in that defense you know most definitely well yeah. um, when do you, when do you, when do you head out to to Stuttgart? uh end of the april end of april all right cool cool um last question all right and you know we talk about the defensive scheme and obviously you know if you watch some of your highlights you're all over the field like someone who could play nickel someone who could play safety who could get off the hash who could play deep middle who also fit in the run game yep what's your favorite part about playing defensive back Ooh, that's a good question <laughs> yeah i I like that that part that you can be in the middle and run downhill and tackle like for the loss, you know, yeah. running back or screens or whatever, you know, like yeah. That, that that's the that's the like mo most excited part of the playing DB. Like I I don't know, could I be able to play cornerback? But like safety nickel position, that's that's what I really like and like to be in the middle third, you know, and then yeah. come down like, for the. For the run game and be like fast and physical. Yeah, that, that's what I like the most. Yeah, and I appreciate that. You speak in my love language right there because <laughs> I was me as a player. I was more similar, you know, to you in terms of position and being able to play nickel or be able to play safety, or whether it's deep middle or or you know if there's two back there and get off the hash. Um, yeah. Corner, I guess I got corner skills, but I was more similar to you and like I like to go get my nose wet in the run game. I like I like. I'm I'm not that big guy, you know, but I like to be Stop physical. It. And Stop then, it. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like to surprise some more linemen on Titans who are like way bigger than me, you know, yeah. like you cannot block me that 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 easily, you know, like you yeah. you need to put put some work in like to block me. Most definitely. That's what I like. Hey, like I said, you speak my long, my love language, my friend. I'm a, I'm a nick, I'm a, I'm a call you GZ, man. I like, I like that nickname for you. So, hey, man, I, uh, I appreciate you coming on. Um, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure. Like I said, I love talking to football players, but just defensive backs in general too. Um, hey, man, you know, like I said, you guys unfortunately got hit with the the bye week week one, but yeah, your first game that second week, I'm sure you guys are gonna. I'm sure it's a it's a it's a stage it's a platform that's going to attract a lot of eyes because people are going to want to know all right who are the surge people are also going to want to see all right Paris in their first home game so yep. we'll we'll see how things pan out but hey brother yep. I appreciate you coming on my friend I appreciate you man thank most you definitely, most definitely and this won't be the last time we chop it up my man all right. Nobody,